Hi everyone, it's me, Kine. Welcome back to my channel and to another installment of 31 Days of Halloween. Today's look is just like sleeping beauty slash single mom having some me time, doing a mask, hair up in rollers, drinking champagne while taking a candlelit bath. For this costume, you could like literally throw your hair up in rollers and put on a real face mask and pajamas. But I like to do this thing called trying. It's this new thing I do and I want to look like a frumpy college girl on purpose, not by accident. So if you want to see how to get this makeup look for Halloween, just keep watching. I'm starting off by taking this gross gray wig and brushing it out and putting it up in rollers. You could use your own hair if you're like not a drag queen, but I'm a man with short hair. I initially wanted this to look like so good, but the hair was ratty and hard to brush through, so I kind of just threw it into rollers without any rhyme or reason. And when it's done, it should look like this. Now set her aside so we can do the makeup. I'm covering the brows with glue, cause like I said, this is drag we're doing, and I like to change my eyebrows, cause my real ones are too pedestrian. So glue them down and powder them once they're dry, and then apply foundation all around the eye area. But we're not going to put any on the face, because that's where we're going to do the mask, it would just be pointless. But highlight underneath the brow still, and create that brow highlight using Clown White on lip brush. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be doing a purple smoky eye, so start out by applying a light brown and then a light purple into the crease with a large fluffy brush. Then taking the color 2AM from Sugar Pill, start intensifying the purple in the crease and bring it onto the lid as well as on the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to do some winged liner with black liquid liner and I'm also lining the lower waterline with white cream, which is a little queen trick to open up the eye area, which I'm sure you've seen me do if you're a subscriber. And then I'm outlining the white with black eyeshadow so it has a higher contrast and then I'm going to blend this into the purple with a flat brush. And then here I decided that the purple lid was not giving me enough drama so I decided to add some black to the outer corner crease so it would be more smoky and more dark and then just blend it out with more purple. Next I'm putting in my contacts. These are from Desio Eyes in the style Innocent White. I'm like obsessed with this color. And then I'm gonna apply my mascara and lashes. These lashes are from the company called Black Magic Lashes. I stacked the styles Electra and Raven. They're pretty big and dramatic, but I can tell they're like made for like natural beauties and not drag queens because the packaging is actually nice <laughs> and not ratchet. Every time I wear them, I feel like a real life woman. And then I'm just going to create my eyebrows with brown eyeshadow following the white line I made earlier and adding thickness wherever I wanted. And now we're finally going to do the face mask. You could use a real mask, but I think it would just easily smudge or crack and fall off your face. So if you want to wear this look for the long run, you'll want something that can dry and stay in place. So I opted for a mixture of liquid latex, green food coloring to color it, and then flour to thicken it to like a paste consistency. I was just worried that the green food coloring might stain my skin, but it didn't at all, so you don't have to worry about that. The only thing that I didn't like about it is that it kind of dried unevenly and looked lumpy. I mean, I guess some face masks are lumpy in nature, and I mean I wanted it to have texture and not look like I just painted it on, but like in some areas it almost dried clear, so I had to go in with a second layer to make sure the mask was really really thick. And then here I put on purple lipstick to match the eyes, but after further deliberation and prayer I realized it wasn't looking good so I switched to a red lip. And that's the finished look. Now you're ready to go eat some ice cream and cry and watch The Bachelor. I actually took this all off, washed my face, put on an actual mask and ate ice cream, except I watched RuPaul's Drag Race, not The Bachelor. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, you can find many more like this on my channel. If you want to support me, you can wire me $7 million. And you can also subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!